Auzubillahi minash shaitani rajeem, bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Dear brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum. My name is Shwaib Khan. Today we've got a very special and exciting tutorial for you guys. As you can see from your screens, this is a bullet from the film called Wanted. I'm sure most of you must have seen it. So this is today's tutorial as well, you know. So as you can see from the image, this is a bullet that is in three parts. First is the top and then the middle part and the bottom part. I'll show you another example. This is how it looks from from other perspective. So the top bit is basically it's in one piece first when it is fired it breaks into three pieces detaches you know and then finally this is the top bit that hits the target. And also I have got a reference picture in Photoshop that I've downloaded from the trailer itself so this is how it looks the bullet. This is how it is when it's closed and this is the top bit. So I have drawn a map around it. So this is what we'll be copying in 3ds Studio Max. So let's go back to 3ds Studio Max and this is how the whole thing looks in Max. As you can see this top part goes inside. This bit also goes inside and it closes like this. When you render it, this is how it looks. This is what we'll be doing today this tutorial model the bullet of course texture mapping etc 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 so let's not waste any more time and get on with the tutorial so are you guys ready get yourself a cup of coffee and by the time you finish the coffee hopefully this tutorial will be finished as well and again I'll glide you through this tutorial in no time also I just wanted to mention that there's a great product that you can buy from videocopilot.net this product is of course designed by Andrew Kramer it's called the bullet I'm sure you'll learn a lot check out this product and uh, if you can afford it definitely go for it and buy it. Let's start the tutorial by first resetting 3ds Studio Max. Let's start by highlighting the front viewport because it's important you need to import your reference picture in the front viewport so highlight it it should show this yellow marker around it and go to views and view background and you go and get your map that is 7 millimeter bullet open make sure that the aspect ratio you match bitmap and check display background and also check lock zoom pan and uncheck animate background as because this is not an animated background we just have a still picture so click OK and here we are and just zoom out actually you can zoom in and out with control alt and central mouse button so you need to know these things because it's quite helpful you know in modeling uh, and um, speeding up the process also you can use these options here but anyways let's start the tutorial and let's maximize it from here now we've got our bullet here do we first we go to shapes and in shapes we select arc and we click on the top and now we try to match this bullet so uh, for that of course we need, need to match one side and the other side we'll lay it so let's click point here and hold and then come here this point is good and click again and then you can adjust it so all you need to do is just roughly you know match the point here and now you go to modifiers list and you say edit spline so now it's in edit spline mode and it has got all these points here vertex segment and spline so what we need to do is click vertex here you can click here as well and select this vertex because I don't want to go and create another line and then attach go through the process of attaching so we just select this point and we say create line and we click on top of this vertex here and click approximately here somewhere and click here and then right click to come out of it now select this point here and we change this to smooth so make sure that e all these points are smooth okay we come here okay, we come here and we right click and corner and then again we right click and bezier corner so here we are make sure that you use this coordinate is horizontally is horizontal and then you can just bring it down a little bit and you can just roughly match it you don't need to you know exactly match it okay so sometimes what happens is the this coordinate this doesn't move you know uh, like nice not moving towards x-axis why because it's locked now so what you need to do is you have to bring in this axis constraint which is you can get it from here customize UI and floating toolbar it opens all this bunch of toolbars uh, so you just close this this and this this close this this 
and this and leave this one as uh, so if you want to move the coordinate in x-axis you just now you can do it and if you want to move y-axis you can move y but x is locked so if you want to move both of them then you know both directions so for now this is fine come out of it and we just hide our background it's more easier to work like this so we hide background and we got our nice line here as you can see and all we need to do is now to go to modifiers list and apply lathe right now this is what happens when you apply lathe because a pivot point is here somewhere so we get out of it we remove it again and we come here and we go to hierarchy in hierarchy we say affect pivot only we click affect pivot only and and then we say center to object so now it is centered to, to the object you can also bring it roughly here somewhere so it is roughly the center here and you can also do it with the help of you know snap tool and make sure that grid lines and midpoint is checked and then you go back and you know you can just do it roughly here somewhere okay so you come out of it again and then now again we go to lathe okay so now we've got our nice come out of it and here we are so we've got a nice bullet here so now the problem is the you know the tip is very very pointed like a needle so we don't need that so we click this plus point here axis and we come to the top and you see as you move it you can see a hole there you can make it a big or small but for now this is fine now the whole thing turns black don't worry just click flip normals everything will be normal now we see this line here this line which is no good so what we do is turn off this bulb here and we go back and we go to vertex so the problem area is here somewhere so what we do is just we change this to smooth so once it's smooth you get your bullet you know it's in perfect shape right so this is our bullet now we've made here one more thing we go and tackle the tip tip is too pointed I don't like it so what we do is we go and zoom in you know I'm zooming in and out with the central you know scroll button as well you can zoom in and out like that as well so go to vertex select it and what we do is we go to refine click refine and we click here somewhere we get another vertex point here now what you can do is hide the background you don't need it for now okay and we just right click and we say corner and then we just bring it down here uh, like that so that make sure that it's not like a you know pointed right so here we are we've got our basic shape here now as you know that it's in three parts we need to break it into three parts so first name it we'll name this one bullet right let me show you again go to show background so this is part one the top you can see the marker here the line that I've created and middle part and the third part that so we'll make copies you know of this bullet and then break it and then change them into edit poly mode and break him and then use them over and over again right so for that we just have to we have to press shift and with the move tools click anywhere here and I'll come up with the option clone options you say I want to have three options I want to have three number of copies so I say okay so one is this one we just keep it as backup okay this is select by name go here and select backup since we don't need a backup right now we so right click and we'll say hide selection so and now we in late here which is bullet itself so we'll name this top right okay and we click the other one and this one let's say we call it middle and again right click and hide selection click again this is blue two that will change this one into bottom right and then we hide again so now we are left with only one bullet that is the top that will work you know if you want to see all the rest of the go here you won't see it just the top is there because top is otherwise everything is hidden so right click and you say unhide all
so now all the you know other pieces are there as well make sure that you don't move them because this is kind of a reference for us you know so leave them as it is in their place now what you do is just select the top top is selected and then you right click and say that hide 